I was like really sporty as um, a kid. Like I loved all sports. There wasn't anything that I didn't like. In primary school, my dad took me along to the local judo club and I absolutely loved it from the very first time I stepped foot onto the mat. I always enjoyed judo and I think that was the biggest thing. I loved going once or twice a week and it was like the highlight of the week. And then when I started winning some competitions and going up the grades and the belts, I thought, oh no, this is something I want to do more of. London 2012 was amazing. It was my first Olympic Games and I think for most of the time I was like rabbit in the headlights. I was like, what is this? This is huge. The thing I remember most about the London Olympic Games was the opening ceremony. The crowd just went wild and it was something I still remember to this day, the feeling and it will never leave me ever. I feel so lucky to have had a home games. There's not many athletes or players or coaches who can say they've actually been or competed at a like a home game. So yeah, I feel very, very, very grateful and thankful that I was able to, to be there and do it. When I lost the semi-final, it was such a close fight. I think it was only like a 10 minute turnaround between the semi-final and the bronze medal match. And I remember people trying to come over to me and talk to me and I just didn't want to hear anything. I knew in my head what I had to do. And I remember standing in the tunnel, just so focused, walking out and it was a war, like that fight was a war. And I think two minutes in, into the fight, I managed to throw graft. I just knew like, I had to keep doing what I was doing. I hadn't won the fight yet. And I think it was like with 10 seconds to go, like we both went down to the ground and I didn't even know what I was doing. All I knew is that I needed to eat the clock up and keep her on the ground. So there was no danger of her throwing me when we stood back up. So luckily the buzzer went after around um, four minutes and yeah, I won that Olympic bronze medal. It was just that relief and what made it even more special was that I was able to kind of share it with my coach and with my family and help me through like the whole journey. It was incredible and yeah, one of the happiest moments. Years ago, I just wanted to know, like in my heart, when the right time was to stop for me. And I feel so happy and grateful that it's come to me quite naturally. I'm just going to take, give a bit of time just to kind of see what it is I actually want to do. But my heart still lies very much with judo and maybe coaching something I, I'll be very much interested in. I think I want to pass on my experiences to the younger generation coming through. I think I've got a lot to give hopefully to them and yeah but I would love to stay in judo. I'm really happy with my decision and I just can't wait for what's next.